one element of just the whole process of you know operating on social media is you need to listen first. Many businesses miss this step. So what does it mean to listen on social media? You know, what we have at Bag Rhino is we have teams that are constantly looking at industries that we work in. What are people complaining about? What are people praising, you know, for certain companies, whether it's a client we're working on or one of their competitors? So you listen to what people are talking about online and you want to jump into those conversations. You have to listen. You have to be able to get the pulse of their target market and what they might be looking for. So you want to make sure that you have a listening component to your strategy. It's a very important first step as well. And you need to do that continually. The next step is content. You need to have good content. Um, you know, content, they'll say content is king, but if nobody's seeing it, then that's an issue. Um, you can have the best content, no eyeballs on it. But content is, you know, definitely high up there. You want to make sure that you have it. I think listening is more important than content in a certain circumstance, but by listening, you can develop better content and give people what they're looking for. So when you're developing content, you want to keep in mind what the purpose of that content is on social. Sometimes it just might be awareness. Other times it might be announcing a new product. And there's different ways not only to create those, but different ways to then write copy around them and a call to action around them. So your content needs a strategy and you need to make sure that when you're developing content, you have the right ideas in mind, both short term and long term. It should be a long term strategy with content. Certain blog pieces are going to live forever. Certain Instagram quick videos are going to be short and you should take a different tact into each one in developing your strategy.